hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always 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 coming back i appreciate okay so you guys today's video is basically all about how i cook my egusi soup but i won't be the one cooking my sister is the one cooking but i'm going to show you guys how we basically cook our own egusi soup in our own way so while we do so please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share turn on your post notification to see when i post a new video so this is my sister trying to make i don't know what they call it but we call it telge in the house uh, trying to make telge she's she's done she's going to close it to cook a bit before she turn her semo So you guys, while our talge is cooking, this is me cross-checking the meat for our egusi soup. I'm checking it myself. They said if you want things done, you do it yourself. So I'm checking it to to see if it is to my own taste and everything is okay. So now we we'll wait for our talge before she starts turning it. I'll see you guys in my legs. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming. Is we are finally turning it. So this is the amount my sister did because we don't really eat that much. Honestly, this is for me, she, my house help, and my husband. We don't really eat that much, especially swallow. So you guys, this is our ingredient for the day. We have our egosi and we also have our bamo the bamo is soft that's why i didn't boil it separately and i also have my boiled meat i have my maggi i have my blended pepper i have my onions tomato and dry fish with my ugu leaf so um right into we are going into it um she has already put in her oil it's already hot she added her sliced onions to give it that a flavory taste of onions and again who also love seeing onions in his egusi and vegetable soup i love seeing much onions and tomato in my vegetable soup so she's going to allow the onions to fry We, next we are going in with a sliced tomato we are going to allow the tomato to fry too together with the onions for some minutes So our tomato is a bit fried you can see it's fried already next we are going in with our blended pepper it contains of pepper fresh pepper ataro dough onions and garlic so we are going to add it to our sliced tomato and onions we'll allow it to fry together too that she added too much pepper because we like pepper in our house we don't like it like spicy and hot but we like to feel that pepper in our food to get so yeah she's going to stir it and close it and allow it to cook for some minutes too again So our tomato sauce is cooked. Next, we are going in with our egusi. So guys, sometimes my egusi, I add, in, I mix it with water, and sometimes I just put it dry like this. Cause we are late, I'm going to put it dry like this and allow it to fry with the sauce that I just made. She just made. Sorry, the sauce my sister just made. We are going to allow it to fry together. So 
so now that so now that our egusi is fried a bit we are going to go in with our crayfish so that it will bring out that that nice tasty smell let it smell scent i uh -huh. so um our goosey is fried we are going to add in our dry fish our dry fish is added she's going to give it a stir next we are going in with our bomo after adding our bomo she's going to give it a quick stir so you guys remember she didn't add water to this egusi because she wanted her egusi to fry very well so she this is her next she's going to add in our meat stock the meat that we use to boil and uh, the water that we use to boil meat she's going to add it now she's going to add more okay so after adding it she's going to turn the soup After turning it, she's tasting it to see um, if the ingredient from the stock is okay. Then she's going to add in her maggi, so she will know the amount of maggi she's going to add. But yeah, this maggi is okay. The maggi is like eight or six, I think. You know, you know this um, egusi soup sometimes it catches ingredients quickly. So yeah and that is all guys we don't use salt in our house we don't use salt to cook we only use salt with white rice when we want to cook white rice or boiled um, yam or fry yam so that's what we use salt for but we don't really use salt like that so yeah she's going to allow the ingredient to cook and i think the water is not enough so she's going to add another meat stock to it but just a bit okay this is her adding it so yeah she's going to give it another stir so next we are going to add in our meat our boiled meat is added Stay, stay, and stay. Guys, she doesn't really like turning her soup. So she's going to close it to cook for some minutes. So it's cooked already. Next is our Ugu. So you guys, she's going to, after putting putting her ugu, she's going to allow it to cook for some minutes. Close it and allow it to cook for some minutes. So my love, our egusi soup is finally done. So I hope you enjoy. It looks so yummy and delicious. I hope you learn and enjoy from this video. Please, while you do so, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Turn on your post notification to see when I post a new video. So you guys enjoy. 
i hope you enjoy this voice over that i'm doing this is my first time doing a food content voice over i hope you enjoy i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye Should have been sight, but I was foolish. That your bare minimum was space. I had to lose it. My feelings muted. Put it into what we had without the full closure.